Hello and welcome back to Ian's Gadget. Now in today's video, I'll be taking you through some of the do's and don'ts of the Samsung front load washing machine. If you're new here, kindly subscribe so you get to know when I post more gadget videos. Also, do give this video a thumbs up, I'll truly appreciate. Now without much ado, let's get into it. One, separate colors. When you're doing laundry, it is highly recommended to separate clothes by color, especially light and dark clothing. Dyes in darker colored clothing can seep into lighter colored clothing during the washing process and light clothing can throw into off-shade colors and be ruined. Two, do check garment care labels. Before you insert your clothes in the washing machine, always check the care labels for washing guidelines. This will give you instructions on the appropriate temperature and wash cycle. Sort the laundry into cottons, mixed fibers, synthetics, silks, wools and rayon. Mixing different sized items together in the drum improves the washing performance. Remember to wash delicate items separately. Also, load clothing items step by step. Three, empty pockets. Metal objects such as coins, pins, and buckles on clothing may damage other laundry items as well as the drum. Hence, it is advisable to empty all the pockets of your laundry items. Also, it's an excellent idea to turn clothing with buttons and embroideries inside out. If you have clothing with long strings, make sure to tie the strings before starting the wash. 4. Use laundry net. When you're washing delicates like lingerie, it's advisable to place them in a laundry net. Small clothing such as socks, gloves, stockings, and handkerchiefs may become caught around the door. Hence, you should place them inside a fine laundry net. Having said that, do not wash the laundry net by itself without other laundry. This could result in abnormal vibrations that could move the washing machine and result in injury. 5. Put detergents in the right place. The washing machine provides a three compartment dispenser. The left compartment is for the main wash, the front right for fabric softener, and the rear right for the preliminary wash. 6. Leave your washing machine door open after use. This will allow it to air out and help prevent mold and mildew from growing. That way you will avoid nasty smells in your kitchen. 7. And lastly, do clean your washing machine. Regular cleaning is an important part of knowing how to use a washing machine. After all, your washing machine won't be able to wash efficiently if it's not clean itself. The most important places include the detergent drawer. Uh, apart from the detergent drawer, uh, the gasket, the door gasket, and particularly this place here. Okay, it's important to make sure that you wash this place, as you can see, because when the machine is washing, a lot of uh, dirt deposits here, and it's easy for mold to grow, you know. And you know, if your machine uh, gets a lot of mold, uh, your clothes can smell bad. Down here, there is a pump. This one here, you also must make sure to clean it. And before you clean it, you have to to empty uh, this uh, water from this emergency hose pipe. So I'll be showing you these steps. Then also at the back of the machine. The back here we shall open the water inlet inside here there is a mesh filter which we shall clean return this and uh, return and, and turn on the tap then you come here the gasket
And when you're cleaning here, you must do it gently. You don't use a lot of force, lest you spoil, or you damage, should be, you, da you might damage the gasket. So, you see a lot of parts coming from here. Gently, remove all the dirt. You know, when the machine is uh, washing, a lot of dirt is deposited around this area. So, if you don't clean this area, uh, mold can grow and it can result into a very bad smell so now we are done there so now next we go to the shop now this one is very easy you just need to press here and remove it now to wash this you just need a brush and run your water So now to wash here, I just need again a piece of cloth, a damp piece of cloth, and now I just to make sure to wash. Now this one, after it's clean, we just uh, return this compartment control like that. And now we are through it there. So now we can proceed uh, to the to the pump, you know, to the filter down there, and you know, clean it as well. So now when it comes to uh, the pump, uh, the filter here, the pump filter, you just press this and you open it. Then for like, this pass machine, it is good, it is admissible. You just remove this uh, cover like that, then you pull. This is the, the emergency hose. And now you open it. Because you need to drain. can see all this dirt. You can see all this dirt. So you just hold it like this. Just be patient. You need to drain. Until all the water is empty. As you can see, now it's empty, so we can proceed to close. Yeah, this return is covered like this. And now we have closed. Then, once you've closed, you can return this now. Yeah, like that. So now, I uh, will proceed now to open. Oh, as you can see all this dirt, you can imagine all this, you can imagine all this, in fact, oh, 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 I can't believe this, you can imagine what would have happened if we did not uh, do the cleaning, oh my god, make sure everything is not clogging. 
Make sure it's not clogging. You just remove like all of that. Like that. Like that. So now that place is clean. This place was truly, truly clogged. It was messy. I can tell you it was messy. And that is very dangerous. It ruins the efficiency and performance of the machine. Oh, it has a lot of diverse effects. Now I just again clean this. It's clean. Now we just need to, to return this pump filter and to return it you just have to like that until it is closed it's even written open close so now it's closed then we return uh, this, this cover that and the close that's it cleaning the pump filter uh, now we need to clean the mesh filter, so we need to open this uh, water inlet. We just open this once this is open, and remember the tap should be closed eh? at all times. Eh? Then we need to use our pliers and you know just pull. This is the mesh filter. So now this one we are going to submerge it in water and leave it to dry. Now, using the pliers again, I hold like this and I return inside there. Then, I now return the water in that hose like this. And it's always to make sure that it's tight so that it prevents you know, water leakage at all given times. We only need now to run uh, the eco drum clean. And when you're running this eco drum clean, you're not supposed to use any detergent. That is according to the manufacturer. And the drum must be empty. So now, uh, let's put on the machine. Then, we just take this to eco drum clean then we press the start button as you can see it's going to take one hour 44 minutes that's it so as you can see uh, this is the eco drum clean cycle and it's uh, an important functionality because uh, the machine is just cleaning itself, you know, automatically. Yeah. And as I say, you're not supposed to use any detergent, you know, when you're cleaning this machine. So this is eco drum cycle. So the machine uh, is automatically washing the drum, you know, removing all the dirt from the drum. And at the same time, it's killing the bacteria, you know.
Okay guys, that beep signifies the end of the echo drum clean cycle. So now our machine is very clean and it's ready for work. And so after the clean, it's advisable to open as well as as well as the drum and just leave it open okay now let's look at some of the common mistakes to avoid one don't overload your machine clothes crammed into a washing machine won't be able to move around enough to get a proper clean so you could end up needing to wash them again likewise do not wash small loads using a large load cycle. This will use an unnecessary amount of water and energy. 2. Fabric conditioner should never come in direct contact with clothes as it could stain them. Consult your washing machine manual and find the correct compartment in the detergent drawer for the conditioner to be placed in. It's usually marked with a flower. 4. Don't use too much detergent. An excessive amount of laundry detergent could leave residue on your clothing. In fact, it doesn't result in cleaner clothing. Always follow the instructions of the product's label. 3. Don't leave wet clothes in for a long time. Moisture from wet clothes could result in a buildup of mold in your washing machine drum or even your clothes. Remove clothes from your washer as soon as possible after the rinse cycle is finished and dry naturally outside where you can. 4. Don't try to fix serious faults. Call a professional. While you can tackle minor problems such as blocked pipe with help from your manual, you should consult a professional on more serious problems like plumbing and electricals. If you found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. I'll truly appreciate. Also, do subscribe to this channel so you get to know when I post more gadget videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.